Hey, we're staying in Florida. Enrique, you're up. All right, Steve and Mark, what a great opener to our year. Thank you so much for all you do. Now, I'm heavy on uh, legend, heritage, legacy. Uh, you spoke about you know, your family makeup and how that influenced you. And I wanted to ask you uh, both uh, Steve and Mark from your grandfather's perspective. So Mark, from your grandfather, Steve, from your grand what did you take from them that today you could say, wow, that, that piece really got me to where I am today? Um, I'll go first. Yeah. In the, Cause it's generational. So my grandfather, um, I was always looking for recognition and my grandfather was that guy who said, that's what you get paid for. You know, So um, I always took that, like, I don't need anybody else's validation. I know what needs to be done. I know I can do it and I do it. The rest is all trade dress. It doesn't, doesn't matter if you get it. Great. That's nice. And some of the things that people are saying here are extremely humbling. It's not why I do it. It does not drive me to be bigger, better, you know, I do what I do because I know how to do it and I want to get better at it. And I learned that from my grandfather. So, I, Mark, I don't know what. Yeah. And I think, you know, from for my grandfather, there was a ton, you know, and I, and I love him in our relationship. But visiting him at his stores, I always got introduced to customers as is, as if they were family. And so I, that that the understanding of what customer experience should be like. And what it means to be a customer is it's not transactional, that it's relationship driven, and that it's somebody that you would want to introduce your family to is something that I carry with me as we operate, not in person. I mean, the majority of my coaching that gets done is through a computer screen. The majority of business development that happens is through a computer screen. So taking that philosophy of how do I create an intimate customer experience for anybody that I work with and how do we accomplish that through a virtual world? The philosophy is rooted in, in what he taught me as a little boy visiting him at his store and it carries through to the way we do business today.